Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Excellence in Fire and Emergency Awards held at the Caledonian Club. I'd also like to thank our judging panel who have had a very difficult job judging each of the categories. Sir Ken Knight, author of the Facing the Future report. Neil Gibbons, International President of the Institution of Fire Engineers, who sadly can't be with us today, but Steve Hamm is um, representing. And our compere, Paul Fuller, Chief Fire Officer of Bedfordshire and Luton Fire and Rescue Service. Look, it's really great to be here. All of us, I think, think that. Everyone I've spoken to has been very pleased. Uh, thanks to Fire Magazine and um, that other guy, um, that we'll probably talk about a little bit more is um, their first foray into an award ceremony and so I hope you'll enjoy it and I hope it's memorable enough for you to come back next year. So the first award uh, is Project of the Year. Uh, it's been sponsored by Bristol Uniforms and I'm very, very pleased uh, to welcome a very, very good friend of the service uh, and the Managing Director of Bristol Uniforms and a personal friend, Roger Startin. The shortlist uh, is uh, Cheshire Fire and Rescue Service and Age UK for delivering a dementia outreach service. Greater Manchester Fire and Rescue Service for the progression pathway. I'm just looking for a reaction in case there's anybody in there. There they are, look. <clears throat> uh, and South Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Service for raising awareness and embracing partnership working at all levels. So now, over to Roger. Winner is Greater Manchester Fire and Rescue Service. Take the and make it strong. You the okay, so the next award is Team of the Year. Um, it's sponsored by Amputees in Action. Um, and will you please welcome the Managing Director, John Pickup, to present the award. The, this award recognises effective team working to improve the lives of members of the community. And the finalists are West Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Service for their Integrated Risk Management Plan. And we all got one of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hampshire, <laughs> Hampshire Fire and Rescue Services Animal Rescue Team, who have been <laughs> who have been leading in animal rescue for the last decade. Um, <laughs> there's got to be a line there, anyway. <laughs> and West Midlands Fire and Rescue, who were the first dedicated fire investigation team in the UK, and who also celebrate their 31st birthday. And I can remember it being set up. <laughs> so, fantastic. Okay, so over to John now to announce the winner. The winner is West Midlands Fire and Rescue. I took my sentence, but committed no crime. And bad mistakes. Okay, so the next award, Innovation of the Year. So our next category is the Innovation of the Year Award, sponsored by Holmatro. So please welcome uh, to the stage Area Sales Manager Colin Noble to present the award. <laughs> this award recognises the innovative uh, technology uh, or a way of working that has made a significant difference to the fire um, and emergency to fire and emergency performance and delivery, um, and the finalists are Lincolnshire Fire and Rescue Service for installing portable misting systems into the homes of residents who are most at risk from fire. In a home for the stove guard system, which uh, can monitor cooking activities, uh, so so safer cooking activities on the hob. Uh, the word in here could be construed in a number of different ways. <laughs> so it's actually about safer cooking, um, uh, you know, on the oven hob. And last but not least, and uh, obviously a clear winner, is the step collaboration made up of Cambridgeshire Fire and Rescue Service and Bedfordshire Fire and Rescue Service and Devon and Somerset Fire and Rescue Services, who have introduced 
efficient business processes. And can I also say thank you to Her Majesty's Government for the £1.4 million <laughs> transformation funding that they've given us for this afternoon. Go on. Go on. <laughs> and the winner is in the home. Through the wind, wanting to start again. Do you ever feel this so paper thin, like a house of cards, one blow from caving in? So Partnership of the Year is the next category, sponsored by um, uh, Fire Magazine. Um, sponsored by that Fire Magazine. Uh, please welcome back to the stage um, editor Andrew Lynch to present the award. And uh, the short list is Buckinghamshire and Milton Keynes Fire and Rescue in partnership with South Central Ambulance Service to assist a co-responder scheme. Uh, Bedfordshire Fire and Rescue Service and Faith-Based Football. You can cheer. Yay, Selkirk Room. <laughs> Dorset Fire and Rescue Service and SAIL. SAIL stands for Safe and Independent Living. So, over to Andrew, who will announce the winner. The winner is Calm Down Darren. Um, so, the Research Excellence Award um, takes us a little bit away from the format that you've seen so far. Um, it's already been presented at the Research um, event which is run at the Fire Service College in partnership with the Institution of Fire Engineers. And the uh, winning entry this year concerned collaboration and in connectivity. In, in connectivity? Is that right? Is that right, President? Close enough. Okay. In Nottinghamshire, um, a joint management research project featuring Nottinghamshire Fire and Rescue Service, Nottingham Trent University, and the University of Nottingham. So please welcome the winners, Peter Murphy. Kirsten Greenhow and Craig Parkin. <laughs> okay, so the next category then is Supplier of the Year. Now I can imagine this is going to be quite fiercely contested. I, I, in fact, I know it was quite fiercely contested. Um, and it's sponsored by the Fire ESA Council. Uh, so I'm going to welcome. Uh, Derek Gotts, uh, who is Chair of Fire Easter, to present the award. Um, the award is presented to a fire or emergency supplier whose products or services have improved efficiency and life safety. Um, the finalists are the Purple Company for the Good Point Smoke Alarm Tester, <laughs> Prime Tech for Cold Cut Technology, <laughs> that was the same people. <laughs> I cheered then. <laughs> APD Communications and Northamptonshire Police for Artemis. So it's over to Derek to announce the winner. The winner is APD Communications and Northamptonshire Police. <laughs> Um, the penultimate category is for Training Provider of the Year, sponsored by Prime Tech. So please welcome to the stage Senior Design Engineer Simon Land uh, to announce the winner. Um, so the finalists are um, of this award, which is um, it's really about demonstrating uh, transference of learning, exceptional feedback and organisational improvements directly linked uh, to, um, uh, to individual and personal training. So the finalists are Derbyshire Fire and Rescue Service and Safety Engineering Simulators to help deal with car accidents. I'm pretty sure we saw that at the Emergency Services Show, actually. It was quite impressive, wasn't it? 
Babcock International, we've already mentioned for the um, highly commended honours. And the University of Central Lancashire Fire Team for Educating Fire Professionals for the Safety, Design, Fire Risk Management uh, and Emergency Response. So <clears throat> over to uh, Simon now to announce the winner of Training Provider of the Year. And the winner is the Yukon Fire Team. <laughs> Um, and now we come to the final award, uh, perhaps the greatest achievement of all, uh, which is the Lifetime Achievement Award. Um, the Lifetime Achievement Award, um, I'd like to ask Kevin Thomas, Chief Executive Support Services Division, from our headline sponsor, uh, Babcock, to come up and present the award. Um, <clears throat> Uh, from a lifetime's experience dedicated to the UK Fire and Rescue Service and improving fire safety provision, um, Ronnie King is a living legend and, worthy, and a worthy recipient of this inaugural Excellence in Fire and Emergency Lifetime Achievement Award. Ronnie King, OBE.